Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at the diesel engine. Now diesel engines are more efficient than gasoline engines because they run at higher temperatures. And they do that by not needing spark plugs to get the gasoline air mixture to ignite. They simply compress it more to the point where the heat generated by the compression itself will ignite the diesel air, the diesel fuel air mixture. And so the diesel cycle then looks like this. We still have two adiabatic processes, but on the top end here we have an isobaric process, and on the bottom end here you have an isovolumetric process. This is still the cooling cycle right here, but this here right here is the place where the fuel gets ignited, and it's kept temporarily at a constant pressure, the fuel ignites, and then the adiabatic process, the, the power stroke here as we call it, then expands the volume inside the cylinder. So let's say that the volumes are given. We start at one liter volume, then we compress it to 0.15 liter. This is where the fuel will ignite. The volume of three will then, at constant pressure, increase to 0.25 liters, and then the abatic power stroke will then increase it further to one point, uh, back to one liter, right? Back to one liter. And of course, we know that gamma for the adiabatic process, air being a diatomic uh, molecule, is made of diatomic molecules, is a diatomic gas, is 1.4. It's C sub P over C sub V, which is defined right here. Now we have two ratios in the diesel cycle. We have, or diesel, yeah, diesel cycle. We have the compression ratio, like we have for gasoline engines, V1 over V2, but we also have the cutoff ratio, which is the ratio of the volume at 3 here versus the volume at 2. Then the efficiency of a diesel engine can be written as 1 minus R to the 1 minus gamma. Now this is the same that we have for the auto cycle, but then that's multiplied times this, where we have the cutoff ratio to the gamma power minus 1, and gamma times the cutoff ratio minus 1, that then gets multiplied by this to get the efficiency of a diesel engine. You probably want to see what that looks like, so now all we have to do is plug in those numbers and see what we get. All right, this is the following. 0.59, so this is the difference between a diesel engine and a gasoline engine. You get some additional efficiency due to the higher temperatures, and that is how we calculate the efficiency of a diesel engine.